I love to do single fold binding on all of my quilts regardless of the size whether they're small or big it's just a comfort zone for me and it makes me think more of the 19th century quilts that were made at the time and they didn't use double fold binding so everything is nice and neat and especially for a small quilt where you have um, you might want to put it on a table sometimes a double fold binding is just a little too bulky so the single fold is perfect. So what I like to do to get started, I have cut my, my fabric strips at one and an eighth inch. And I don't miter them to start out with at the 45 degree. I usually leave them squared off and handle that when I get to the end. Pick a spot to put your binding to get started, your binding strips, away from the corner. So since I have just a tiny little project here, I have started here and I did a tiny little back stitch just to secure it. And then I sew a one quarter of an inch away from the seam, the edge of the quilt. Okay, so you are going to sew, you've put your needle down and you're going to stitch off one quarter of an inch away from the edge of your quilt to the corner. And you can see right here is the corner of my batting. It's peeking through. So you've stitched to the corner. Now this is this thread is trimmed only because I have done this demo in a step sequence. But you would normally leave your thread attached. You're pulling your your unit, your quilt away from the machine. You have a nice crisp 45 degree line here to use to pull your thread your um, your binding back against that you can press it a little bit if you like with your finger and then you pull it and you put the folded edge even with the outside edge of your quilt here's where you have stitched ignore the little frayed edges here please but there you can see that your your thread is still attached you have sewn across mitered out to the edge with your needle then you have this folded over as we did up here folded even out the edge and you have started sewing from out here and you're going to sew down to the next corner and then stitch off to the corner pull your piece out away from your needle leaving your thread attached then repeat the process folding it back against your nice little line of stitching there the 45 degree and then folding this oh, we're getting tangled up here then you fold this back even and begin sewing again so once you have done that all the way around your piece will look like this okay once you have uh, stitched all of your corners and you're ready to attach your your binding pieces, your ends, you attach that any way you like. I don't have a nifty trick mathematical calculation or anything for that. I just maneuver it with my hands until I get it to look right. Then I'll trim off my excess binding fabric and that's it. But you'll want to notice all of the crisp edges here with your, bind, your stitching coming off of the edge of the quilt and then you're going to take your top would look like this you're going to take now your iron and you are going to press the binding away from the top all the way around your quilt regardless of the size that you have this gives you just a teeny bit more edge of fabric to turn over and it helps so much when you are uh, getting ready to stitch. So you take your, your thumbs and you just pop your, pop your binding now to the back. And you can see your nice crisp 45 degrees. They are right there. Flip it to the back. You don't have to tug and pull. You've got plenty of room to just do this with your thumbs. Turn it under and then you are ready to start stitching. I do a ladder stitch 
and I just zip along and turn the edges under as I go. But you just keep tucking like you would normally do under the quarter of an inch and under at the corner. And there's the corner of your of your batting, your top and your back. Hold that with your thumb there. Tuck in the stray threads. And I stitch off to that edge. Can you see that okay? That I have stitched off there. Mm -hmm. Then I put my needle in and I go up to the corner, to the point, little tug, turn it around, make sure that I, this is all still tucked in like I'm going to just start sewing again. Turned under and look how crisp and nice that is. Right to the edge. And then you just keep going. So here we have Birdshot. This is in Hope's Journey. And it's done completely with the quarter inch um, seams for a single fold binding. Uh, cut one and one eighth inch and they are tucked underneath stitched out to the corner nice and crisp nice and crisp corners you can always go back and stitch this little opening down if you like um, if it's not going into a cool show I usually leave that alone, but if it's in a show, I would stitch it closed.